All right, this is an update video on these Walmart telescopic fishing rods. I ordered these in the mail. I actually have three of them. One of them's in my son's room. But I ordered these in the mail from Walmart four months ago. At that time, they were out of stock at the stores near me. And the only way I could get one was to order it online. Since that video, they did come back into stock at my store. They had four or five of them on the shelf. And uh, the next time I went back, they were all gone. And they haven't gotten any more since then. And as far as I can tell, they've actually removed the tag for them. So I hope they haven't been discontinued if this is something you're looking to get. But in this video, I'm just going to share my experiences with you using these for the past four months. And hopefully give you an idea of what you might be getting into if you choose to splurge the 20 bucks on one of these. Now, first things, I'll, I'll just go ahead and say that, of course, these come as spinning combos. And you probably have already noticed that I've got baitcasters on them. And the reason that I do that is because the eyelets on this rod are actually fairly low profile. They're not as low profile as like a true casting rod would be but they're they're low profile enough that you can get away with using a bait caster on it if you want and that's just kind of the way i prefer to do it i've got one set up for my son with a push button zebco on it a spin cast and my second one currently has a bait caster on it you see here and when my other son uses that i put a spinning rod on there so in that sense i mean it's kind of a versatile rod because although it does come pre-spooled with line on a spinning rod if you've already got a bait caster if you want to put a bait caster on it you can i've seen on amazon there are some telescopic fishing rods that come as spinning rods that just have huge eyelets i mean they stick out you know a good four inches on the bottom and uh, one of those i wouldn't recommend um, the other reason that you can easily use this as a bait cast rod or a spinning rod is this first eyelet is on a telescopic piece, meaning that all the eyelets can, can either sit below or above in relation to your reel. So if I had a spinning reel on here, when I go to extend this, I would have the eyelets facing down. And because I've got a bait caster on here, I've got them facing up. So this rod's a little more complicated than the rig that I have on it in the sense of unwrapping this to show you. So I'm gonna, I guess, untelescope or telescope out this one instead, which just has a real simple Ned rig on it for bass. And as you can see, I've bent the hook on this bad boy pretty bad. I haven't bent it back in yet. But the way I do it is I just hold the base and I don't try to get, you know, crazy precise with it because you can always adjust it once you get it slid out. But I slide out the first eyelet and then the second one and then the third, fourth and fifth. And then it's as easy as just kind of looking down the rod you know to make sure you've got it straightened out and and that's it i store my baits usually on the uh, bait caster itself but i also on the spinning rods i can kind of tuck it up in where the foot of the uh, reel spinning reels excuse me when i put a spinning reel on here i kind of tuck the hook up into the foot of the reel area to hold the uh, lure or the bait so there's no hook holder here but other than that, I don't have a, a single complaint about these rods. I mean, you can't expect them to be real sensitive with a lot of action. For the price, you know, they're just kind of your basic hollow fiberglass rod. But as far as these, these glued in eyelets not coming loose, not bending, uh, the eyelet inserts not falling out, I haven't had a single problem with these rods and i have not babied them at all i've caught a lot of big carp and uh, even a, a grass carp on these rods without any problems um, i wouldn't you know try to lift a 20 pound fish out of the water with one or anything but as far as getting a, a 20 pound fish into a landing net you won't have any problems as long as you got your drag set of course but all in all for twenty dollars especially if you plan to just leave it as a spinning rod and that's pretty much your total cost into it these rods are awesome they they get so compact that you could really just put them under the seat of your car or you could put them in a backpack some backpacks uh just a great purchase so if you're thinking about getting one of these you definitely should now, if you want to know the particulars on them, if you check out my unboxing video that I did four months ago, just search my channel. I actually do the measurements of this thing as far as when it's in its compacted form here. I don't have a tape measure out with me. If I had to guess, I'd say it's around 18 inches like that. But like I said, if you're looking for an exact measurement of how long this rod is 
in its compacted mode just check out my unboxing video when i first purchased these so four months in i don't have a single shred of buyer's remorse these ozark trail telescoping rods are the real deal for 20 bucks they work with a bait caster a spinning reel uh, an underspin would work on here or a spin cast reel works as well and you know that's just your basic cork handle hollow fiberglass rod but telescopes down to a nice travel size and for me at least they've been very reliable haven't had any problems snapping the rod or anything like that so if you're thinking about getting one of these don't hesitate and i will do another update video in another few months just to let you know if they're still doing good or not i mainly use one of these for bass when i go to ponds and stuff and the other one i just kind of use as a do it all kind of fishing rod i've i've rigged it for carp right now it's got like a double dropper rig with tiny circle hooks so i can put small pieces of uh, fresh shad on there and uh, i catch you know catfish yellow bass white bass all kinds of stuff it's just been great so again hopefully you enjoyed the video if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time